Hi, Teacher Jane here. Welcome back to part three of my look at an entry level practice assignment on pets. It's a combined maths and English exercise. I love maths. Maths is power, the international language. All you need is a piece of paper. If you're going to send, send it to me, you need to make sure you've got your name and the date on it and give it a nice title. Paper, pen, and a simple calculator. Yeah? But I would prefer if you had a go at doing it in your, with your pen and paper or in your head. But remember, I need to see a method. Method is how we pick up points in the exam. And I want my students passing first time. Right. Same thing as we did last year, last week. <laughs> Last lesson, I'm going to press this buzzer, when you hear that, pause the video and have a go. Ooh, first question. Right, are you ready? Okay, reading the question. Can I take my son to see the animals at 9.30 a.m. next Wednesday? Okay, so I'm going to look for Pets Corner. That's the name of the place. Two capitals there, fabulous. Opening times. Percy, I'd like two dots there. Colon. Monday. Tuesday to Thursday, Saturday, Sun. I can't see Wednesday. Ah, it's between those two, isn't it? So Wednesday, that's the opening times. It opens at 10 in the morning till 4. 4, 4. Oh, that must be 4 in the afternoon. 4 in the afternoon. If it was 24 hour clock, it would be 4 digits. If it was in the, the morning, it would be zero four naught naught. But it's written like that. Personally, I'd have liked to see AM or PM. PM. So, 9.30. Is it open at 9.30? No. So, what am I going to do? Is that right? No! What does it say to do? It says, ooh, let me just get rid of that. I know I'm being a bit fussy, but this is maths. Maths, we like detail. It says circle. I'm glad it said circle. What shape is my necklace? I wore this specially. Circle. What shape is this? Circle. Is it 2D or 3D? Circle is flat, 2D. Now there are two types of clock, analogue and digital. I know my students like digital. It's what they see on their phones. This is an analogue clock. The way you tell the time, and this is only a brief look at time, is you find the smallest hand first and you always go to the I was going to say the lowest number, but 12 is actually smaller than 1, but 12 is earlier than 1. And then you have to look for the big hand. Okay, it's on the 9. Now, luckily, I know my 5 times table. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So the time would be 12, 45. If you practice using these clocks, you get pretty good. And you can tell just by looking, that is the 45 position. Second question. How many hours is Pet's Corner open on a Sunday? Okay, let's have a look. Sunday. Sunday, it's open from 9 till 4. 9 o'clock to... Got to remember that you do not start counting on the nine. At nine o'clock on Sunday, how long? 
has Pet's Corner been open? It hasn't been open at all. It's not until you get to 10 o'clock that it's been open. And at 10 o'clock, it would have been open for an hour. So I'm going to start again. Right, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. And then it goes to 1 o'clock, doesn't it? 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 7 hours. So I'm going to jot that down. 7 hours. How many points will that get me in the exam? I think most likely zero. Why, you ask? Because you haven't shown your method, your workings out. How? You have to show them how. And the simplest way I find to do that is to break the time up. So I'm going to go from 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock. Whoops. And then I'm going to go from 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock. So from 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock, 9, 10, 11, 12, would be 3 hours. Please, let's go like that. And then from 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4 hours, 4 hours. Then I'm going to add them together and that gets me 7 hours. I've shown my method. If all you do is write down seven, it could be a lucky guess. It could be. You could have had a little peep at somebody else's and just written here. Here I can see that you have worked it out. If you have another way of doing it, check it with me. Because I want you to pass first time. I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Which day of the week are they open the least amount of times? The weekend or weekdays? Weekdays. Give me one reason why they would be open less on weekdays. Because children are at school. Probably their visitors on weekdays are schools. And you know the school starts at half eight or nine o'clock and then you've got to get the kids to the pet's corner. So there would be no point in opening at nine on a weekday. Now here's a little bit extra for you. Can you say that number? 3,890. What would you round it to? I would round it to four thousand. Oh, am I going to fall off the edge here? Two, three. I think I'm falling off the edge. I'll just wiggle that over a bit. Four thousand. I would round up because I want it to the thousand. This is the thousand. This eight means it's above five, so I would go up. Oh, I think my necklace is falling off. <laughs> I'll put that over there. This number. How would you say that number? What does K mean in maths? K means thousand. So this stands for 10K. 10, 10, thousand. One, two, three. Oh, put a little comma in it. Let me work that out. Comma in the UK doesn't mean anything. But it kind of helps me when I've got long numbers to, to work out how to say them. I, I, oh, that's why I had these numbers. Do you know that there are 3,890 tigers approximately, roughly, living in the world? But an interesting fact is they reckon there's around 10,000 tigers actually living captivity in America. Isn't that amazing? Tigers being kept as pets. But what shape is this? Rectangle. I hope you said that. Right, okay, next question. For children, what age is a child? Interesting. Could be anything from naught till, I think, 18. Some cases, maybe a little bit 
bit older? This is an interesting one. There, I don't think there is a fixed definition of children. For children, I've got to remember that, have their photograph. Any other words for photograph? That's right, picture or photo taken. How much will it cost? Okay, so I'm going to look at my rectangle. Photographs with the animals. Now, it doesn't say over here that they're having their pictures taken with the animals, but that's the only price I've got on there. £1.50. Okay, so let's work that out. Four times £1.50 equals, I hope you've said, £6. Yes, you could do it like this. Oh, let's do direct proportion. I quite like that. So that would be my quantity, which is one picture. Or you could put a P up there for photo. Oh, and then a PR for price. So I know one is £1.50. What I want is four down there. What have I done to one to make it four? It's a little multiply, isn't it? I've times it by four. What do to one side? Got to do to the other side. So four times that is going to give me six pounds. Yes, you can do it on the calculator. That's great. Me, I might do. I know what. I could work out quite easily what two times one pound fifty is. Three pounds. That's the price for two. But if I wanted four, I'm going to double it. That would get me to six pounds. What does admission mean? Entry. Well done. Right, one more question. The photographs are size 10 times 15. Sometimes that means by. 10 by 15. You must have seen that maybe when they talk about the size of a telly or the size of a desk. And that's usually the length by the, the width. The units of measurement have not been given. Yeah. 10 by 15 tells me nothing, nothing at all. If I was running a business, I would not order from that because it would be risky. There's been lots of cases where people have bought things on eBay where they haven't checked out the, the size of something. They thought that they're buying a full-size mirror. And they've actually been delivered a doll's house one. Lots of profit in tricking people like that. So... Circle the correct answer. So I've got, so got centimetres. How big is a centimetre? Uh, that's about that big. Oops. Here, just of a ruler. You should know this. This is metric. No, hairdresser, could you cut a centimetre? I think I did cut a centimetre off my fringe this morning. There's a big difference between a centimetre an inch, for instance. I like metric. Centimetres, oh, that big. Millimetre, milli. When you hear the word milli, what does it make you think of? Tiny. Millimetres are tiny. Can you... I don't think that's a very good way of showing you on here, but they're the tiny little ones that centimetres are split into. Ten millimetres, that would be the tiniest little picture. Next one I've got is metres. How big is a metre? Oops. <laughs> I've got to show you on here. Up to my, I'd say just above my waist would be a metre. So which one's it going to be? It's going to be 10 centimetres by 15 centimetres. Again, it says circle. Big one to do a circle round. I know I'm being a bit fussy here. Right, just a little one on rounding. 27 children. I think I'll do this on the next video. See you there.